Well, hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, encouraging you to run with endurance the race that God has set before you. It's Thursday, May the 16th. Today, I'm joined by my friend and uh, partner in ministry, Jimmy Maltese. Jimmy and his family, they came to be a part of our church family back in October yep. of last year. October so, 6th. Yeah, almost, not quite six months quite six it's months. been. All the way from Washington State. So, one one side of the country to the other That's side. That's right. That's how we like to do it. The country. Anyway, so we're really glad that uh, you're with us today. Thanks for sharing with yeah, us. Absolutely. I want to ask just a couple of questions. Uh, first... Uh, how about share with us, what do you sense God doing in your life in the uh, recent days? Yeah, well, it's it's actually been a little bit more than recent days. It's kind of been um, really just this season. Coming from doing ministry in Washington State um, at Westwood Baptist there, and then prior being in, in Florida at, at Connect Church, uh, it's been a, a real... Um, it's been a season of go, 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 mm -hmm. especially in Florida. It's been, uh, Florida is kind of an interesting state where there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that, um, everyone's got something else that they're looking forward to doing. Mm -hmm. Um, so the time that you have with them sometimes is limited or, um, you never really get the opportunity to just be around someone and to enjoy and to enjoy their presence. Mm -hmm. And Washington was similar. We were at a, a church that was used to doing really big things and, and being super involved in the community and, and just um, just busy all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of coming here, what God has given me is he's actually forced me to kind of slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And he's really kind of showing me and really giving me these moments now where I'm having a little bit more time with my girls. Mm -hmm. And it's really been evident as, you know, Ray, Ray just turned six. Mm -hmm. So as she's gotten a little bit older and she's, um, she's requiring a little bit more direct presence like she wants to look at me even more and things right. like that and even as Karis is kind of getting older as well but um you know it's just been this this season where I've I've been forced to kind of slow down a little bit spend a little bit more time uh, processing and uh, developing ideas and and uh, really when you when you go somewhere new it's also getting to know the people that are that are, mm -hmm. that are around you and um so it's been great but our, our church family has helped aided in that because everyone is taking every opportunity that they can to try to get to know us and invite us to dinner and things like that. So really what he sees, I think she's teaching me is, is really just, um, just how to slow down mm. and just enjoy the moment that mm -hmm. we're in. So, yeah. so I'm, ex I'm excited to do that. Yeah, great. Finding balance yeah. in in life and faith and ministry and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. That is, that takes real, it takes discipline and it takes real wisdom Yeah, to, to figure that out. Yeah. yeah. And also, like, as, I mean, as I'm moving into different stages of my life, so, you know, I, I, it was new for me when I had two, two kids instead of one. Mm -hmm. Now I have a six-year-old instead of, you know, a four-year-old. When mm -hmm. we went to Washington, Ray was, mm -hmm. Ray was turning four. Now she's yeah. turning six. So just different seasons of different life, and, and it, it takes adjustments and figuring those things out. And right. I'm excited um, to be able to, to kind of journey through those. Great. Great. So how about share with us, what are you most excited about? What are you looking forward to the most? in a ministry here in the coming days yeah well i mean this last several months just the really just the increase of people that are coming to to, to visit us mm -hmm. and and find out who we are really just speaks that god is up to something uh i mean looking back at our, our basics class and our newcomers brunches i mean we've had close to record numbers of people that are attending these and what's really cool is that the people that are meeting at those gatherings I'm now seeing them serving in ministry and on our mm. welcome team and and just mm. being a part of different ministry teams. So that's really encouraging. It means that we're we must be doing something right. Or at mm. least God is blessing our efforts and mm. saying, Okay, like I can trust I can trust you with my people kind of in this area. So just just seeing new people, the times that I get to be out there welcoming people and just the faces that I'm seeing and I'm seeing um, just all generations coming to worship here on Sunday mornings. And uh, so that's kind of like on the on the front of just what we can observe. But in meeting with our ministry teams, meeting with our Bible study group leaders, meeting with our um, with the band of brothers and our men's ministry, meeting with our missions and outreach teams, they're really focused on putting together great strategic plans to really help us as a church together impact these different areas. And I mean, this, you know, I, I guess I'm going to spoil it, but, you know, this week we're going to share that we had one small group that was a large small group that is now deciding to multiply and birth three new groups within hmm. 
within our community. Mm -hmm. And what this is doing is it's number one, it's spreading our reach, it's allowing us to impact people that are farther away from us, but um, also it's giving opportunities for, for new people to lead. And that, that's really what it's about. Yeah. For me, and I think for most of us here on staff, is about equipping and sending, equipping right. and sending, and right. that's, that's really our call. So I, I'm just excited for just the way that God has brought uh, so many amazing people together and, he, and he's, he's allowing us to, to lead in our in areas of giftedness. So, yeah, yeah, super. Well, we are delighted that you are part of our church family and our I'm ministry here, here and, and grateful uh, for the way God connected us very, uh, yeah. very providentially. So grateful yeah. for that. Amen. Well, let me encourage you to enjoy the journey uh, that God has you on for his glory and uh, make the most of the opportunity to gather with the people of God to worship Jesus this coming Sunday. And if you're on the Crystal Coast, we look forward to seeing you here in one of our gatherings.